What's up everybody, it's your boy Ia Solo Thoughts. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to another gold digger prank. Y'all know what happens in these gold digger pranks. Somebody gets exposed for being a gold digger. But I'm not going to hold you guys up for any longer. We're going to jump straight into this reaction. Let's get it. Oh wee, who is this right here? I'm going to try to holler at this one real quick, see what she on. She look nice too, rocking a little afro. Mm. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Ooh. Hey, how you doing? What's your name? My name is Destiny. Destiny, how you, how you doing? I'm Dame. Nice to meet you, Dame. Destiny. Dame, like Damien. I'm good. I'm good. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Cool. I just moved out here and stuff. Trying. To <laughs> hey, y'all notice he ain't got the McDonald's shirt on, or the McDonald's hat on this time, or the Burger King shirt. <laughs> he actually looked like presentable versus wearing that kind of stuff and it kind of draw the women away but they don't know that he says he owns the mcdonald's yeah anyways like find my way around like i don't really know anybody here and just trying to you know i seen you walking i'm like maybe you, just, you know help me out trying to find like some good places to go like get a drink or something or something to eat you give me my granddaddy vibes granddaddy yeah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I was trying to get with you. I'm just so <laughs> granddaddy. So like, like, Dang. like, why would you say that though? I'm just the average man is just trying to meet people. That's all. I know. It's just like a lot of older dudes. I look like you. They just don't be outside like that. So. Oh, okay. Well, I am sorry for bothering you. Mm -hmm. You take care of yourself. Have a nice day. You too. All right. It's nice meeting you. You be cool. You be safe. Okay. You as well. Thank you. Take care. Yeah, granddaddy. Hey, it kind of looked like she was feeling him. I don't know if I'm tripping or not, but it looked like she was kind of feeling him because it looked like she stopped for a minute like, maybe I should turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up granddaddy. I don't know if she said my hands. Oh, I don't know if she said my hands. Look at the granddaddy. Or I look like her granddaddy. She's, oh, she, Whoa, she look at her. This Yo, hey, what's up? This your car again? Hold on, let me get off for a second. Yeah, it's mine. Yeah, 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 this is mine. Why? Why? Yo, thank you, thank you. Step over this way so you don't get hit by these cars. Okay. Yeah, this is mine. So your granddaddy got one of these? <laughs> no. I mean, not at all. oh, so your granddad don't got one? No. Oh, but I'm granddad. I'm just saying, you just look a little older. I didn't, I didn't know how old you was for real. I was, I just assumed that's my fault. That's oh, my so you know how old I am for real? No, I have no clue. Oh, okay. You look like I said. You look a little older. Well, I am a little older. I'm definitely older than you. How old are you? I'm 21. Okay, okay, okay. So you said your name was what again? My name is Destiny. You? Destiny. So let's start over. Um, Damien. Damien. Damien nice for sure. You. So where you headed to? Really, I'm just running errands right now. Like I'm just going all around right now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So what made you come back? So when I, I was just judging the book by its cover. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you was older. I would. I, a lot of older. I hit on younger women, so I'm just like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I've been, I've been through that. So uh, I'm know. just a friendly dude. I'm not trying to hit on everybody I talk to. I yeah. just be just trying to meet people and just be friendly. Like, hey, how you doing? Yeah. Anyway, it's getting hot out here. You want to jump in for a second? Yeah, of course. You sure? I mean, door unlocked. Okay, bet. Okay. I got you. Okay, go ahead. I ain't gonna lie. I never seen one of these trucks or whatever. What is that? A Hummer? I've never seen that before, but it looks fire. It's open. Yep, that is a hummer. That's fire. Inside view, clean. You like? You like? You ever been in one before? Yeah, I've been in one, but this is nice. Okay, you say put it <laughs> straight like that. I do. I put it. Okay, where you from? I'm from Houston. You, oh, you born and raised there? Yeah. H Town. How, what they be doing? This is the H Town something. <laughs> Is that you know what Megan Thee Stallion say? Huh? I said, you know what Megan Thee Stallion say? What, what she say? We're hot girls. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all some definitely some hot girls down yeah, here. I'm it's telling not about you. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, what you be doing and stuff for yourself? I'm a flight attendant. You're a flight attendant? Yeah. Like, 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 you be on a plane? All the time, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> you like it? I mean, you don't be scared sometimes up there? 
Like, you ever had any scares? They say, like, you know, cars have more accidents than planes. So. Yeah, that's true. That's true. The statistics is actually true up there, though. It's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. I'm a little nervous when I fly, but then after I get up there, like, it's the takeoff for me. Oh, you know, the most accidents that happen, I've learned, being a flight accident, I'm going to take off, landing, and you like, when you first get in the air, literally. Mm. Yeah, Man, that's crazy. Yeah, that's always scary. So how long have you been doing that? I just started like a couple months ago in November. That's awesome. So you enjoy it? It's dope. It's dope for sure. That's cool. It's dope. That's pretty awesome. Like, especially like you're very young. So how old are you? Like 20? Yeah, 21. 21? Yeah. Dang. 21. That's awesome young. right there. I appreciate you sharing that with me. I actually, like I told you out there, I just really moved out here. So I actually do like little businesses as far as buildings and stuff. Like I buy old abandoned buildings, I break them down and stuff mm -hmm. and uh, sell them for little office spaces and stuff. So other than that, like I told you out there, I'm just like, I be just trying to meet new people and stuff, you know, trying to have a vibe and stuff. And, and how old are you again? I'm 52. Oh, okay. I'm uh, only 30 something years older than you. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Mm. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, that's a that's too much dust up under my carpet. I ain't gonna lie. That's, a, that's a lot. That's a lot. You sure. ever talk to an older dude? Not that age. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I figured because out there you you was like grandpa, like straight up grandpa. But you look good for your age though, like fifty two. You really mean that? Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's Stop always good to get a compliment from a <laughs> young lady. Thank you. Always, always, very, very. Um. So like, so basically, what made you turn around? Like. You know, and uh, come back. Because when I see like an older dude that she doesn't have no money, it gives the vibes off as like, okay, he's one or he just wants some sex or da -da. But I know you have money. You buy this car. That means you have morals, and you don't just go for anything. And I respect people like that. So. Nah, that's that's cool. So a lot of older dudes don't have money, but they just be. I mean, yeah, especially if they're outside talking to a girl that looks like me. I mean, I look young for my age. I don't yeah. look grown as fuck. Right, you know? right, right. You actually look a lot younger than 21. But um, so since you kept it real with me about why you turned around, I know the car, you know, is definitely an eye catcher, you know, and I definitely appreciate your honesty. Yeah. Now, since you was honest with me, can I be honest with you? Yeah. Okay. So you say that you are from Houston. Mm -hmm. You live here, stuff like that. You got your mom and dad in your life. Yeah. You got siblings, yeah, relatives, cousins, and uncles that love you. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. You got a cell phone, yeah. You probably like <laughs> so on your cell phone. Do you be getting like uh amber alerts on your phone and stuff? Oh, yeah, all the time, really. So, do you remember what the last amber alert was surrounded by? Like, what was it about? I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember my last amber alert at all. Like, like. Have you ever looked at any other one that came up across your no, phone? No, I, I do look at it, but it's been a long time since I got one. Now that I think about it, but, you just made me think about it because it's been so long. Since I, but I what do you normally see when you get an Amber Alert? Like, what does it normally say? You know, a car to look out for that took either like a child or a kid or mm, a exactly. woman, really. I've never seen no boy. Exactly. So, those Amber Alerts that you get is about people that's missing, mm -hmm. people that's been kidnapped. Yeah. Exactly. So, do you know what human trafficking is? Oh, yeah, for sure. Human trafficking is associated with those Amber Alerts that you get on your phone. What happens is, in some instances, some guys sit outside of schools and snatch kids, or some guys see a young girl walking down the street and try to talk to her, and they don't bite the bait. But then when they see them walk into a nice, beautiful car, they end up getting in the car like you did and putting yeah. themselves at risk of having bad things happen. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because you're young, beautiful, you got your whole life ahead of you, you got people who love you, and you only get one mom and one dad, and um, no one can ever replace them. And if something were to happen to you, um, your mom them, and dad can never replace you, your family would miss you, you would never experience what it's like to be married, have children, continue on with your fabulous career that you have. And I just don't want you doing nothing like this again because I don't want you to flash across my phone as the next Amber Alert. I did like a whole, what they say, Ginger Book by his cover thing. Yeah. And I looked at you, I was like, this money, I think you should be good. Like, I'm okay. Yeah. And I real. would never have thought of it like that until you talked to me like that. It's real out here. 
you know, we can always look at people and say he doesn't, or she doesn't look like the person. They well dressed, they drive a nice car. They don't like that they would do anything like that. But those are the very people who would do those that type of thing. So before I let you go, I just want to ask you to do me a favor. You adult, you're going to do what you want to do. But I don't want you to be the next Amber to come across my phone. So can you please never do anything like this again? Yeah, I respect that for sure. I appreciate wow. that. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. you. Take care of yourself and it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right. You just gave me a whole new perspective. Good. I'm glad I did. And that's what it's all about. Thank you. You have a great day. You too. You too. Name of the game. I'm not going to lie. This young woman, 21 years old, she seemed very cool compared to a lot of the other women that be trying to come back to these men's car. She seemed chill. She was listening to him. She didn't over talk him. She respected what he had to say. And yeah, she didn't really seem like a gold digger. The only gold digger thing that I could say was that she came back when she seen his car. That's the only thing, but she didn't seem like she was a true gold digger. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I need your money. Oh, you going to pay me. She wasn't on that. She was real chill. So this is probably one of the best ones that I reacted to where the woman is not showing her gold digger vibes. So I give this young woman credit for being her true self and not showing how a lot of these younger women are of today. But that's all I got for you guys. And make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I'm gone. Peace.